The other point I just quickly wanted to mention, I think, is that change in estimate used in logistic regression. So if you are using that kind of um, strategy in logistic regression to determine what is your confounder or not, um, is that an accept acceptable strategy? And partly because you will see in the literature, many people use change in estimate in odds ratio, uh, but there are very good reason not to use change in estimate strategy in the logistic regression. And if you go to the lab, if you go to the lab three, you will see I have given an example of why um, the change in estimate should not be used in a um, logistic regression type of scenario. So there are many different scenarios where I am describing here. Uh, just look at this scenario where I have a continuous outcome and I have a L variable that is acting as a confounder. It is a common cause, right? And then um, when I adjust for uh, L, I get the true effect. And when I do not adjust for L, I do not get the true effect. That means when I see a change after adjusting, uh, that is an indicator that some confounding is being adjusted, right? But that only helps if this L variable is a confounder, right? And, and that is not unique to only the, uh, unique to only the continuous outcome. When you go to the binary outcome as well, you will see even in the binary outcome, when you adjust for L, you will some, see some change in the beta coefficient of A. But when you are dealing with a continuous outcome, um, and in here, R is basically a risk factor for the outcome. R has nothing to do with your, uh, your exposure. In that case, for the continuous outcome, you will see whether or not you include your risk factor in your model, it does not matter. You are still going to get the correct estimate of your uh, exposure. And uh, when you are using the same uh, DAG, in a logistic regression scenario, you will see that depending on whether you adjust for R in your regression or not, your coefficient changes. So in the continuous outcome, when you are using a normal regression, that was not a problem. But when you are using a uh, logistic regression to estimate your odds ratio, uh, you will see the coefficient of exposure changes. So based on this change, what, you, what would you uh, conclude? Based on the change in estimate, you will say that this R is a confounder, which it is not, right? And you can also go through some more complicated examples where you have mediators and things like that. Uh, you will see that when you adjust for R and when you, you do not adjust for that particular R variable, your coefficient changes and you will conclude from this that your R is a confounder and you will try to include this in your model. So based on this one um, tiny example, you can see this why this uh, change in estimate is a problematic method, especially when you are dealing with non-collapsible measurements or odds ratio. The change in estimate says that whenever you are including a confounder, is that changing your effect of the primary exposure. So in this example, this 1.3 was the true primary exposure effect. And when you do not include your L, then your A's effect was different. So that was the justification used to add this L in the model. Say, for example, the idea is this, that when you do not ad adjust for L, and when you adjust for L, if that does not change anything, Right? That means that that means what? That L is not useful to add. But only if it changes something, that then um, include L because L is correcting your relationship of interest. So in this particular example, say for example, in here, when you are using a continuous outcome and getting your beta coefficient, you are not inclu including and you are including your risk factor here. So it, it is not changing your coefficient of interest, 
So in that case, include this R is not a confounder by the criteria set by the change in estimator. 